Matt, thanks. US 27 remains closed tonight after a semi truck and a train carrying molasses collided. Monday's crash caused a massive mess to not only the rail infrastructure, but also the roads right there. FHP has been investigating the crash as crews work to clean up the road and fix those train tracks. Link News reporter Annalise Iraola has been covering the story and has new details on the next stage of repairs. Glades County Sheriff's deputies tell me they were able to get all of the tank cars upright, but they're still working on removing the damaged tank cars from the crash. Semi trucks carried in gravel to the area Wednesday afternoon. Because they have to rebuild that whole berm that the track sits on. It was destroyed. Basically what you had just I spoke by phone with Chief Deputy Dwayne Podorf from Glades County Sheriff's Office. The problem we have is as long as they keep bringing their equipment out, because it's in that swamp area, that corner of the swamp, the only place they can put their equipment is on 27. These specially equipped red trucks lining US 27 brought in the big tractor equipment to make the repairs to the tracks. This section of road has been closed since Monday when a semi truck failed to stop at a railroad crossing. The truck crashed into a train hauling tanks filled with molasses, causing several train cars to derail, which damaged the tracks and spilled molasses from one of the tank cars. We just asked the public to have patience and they're working as fast as they can to fix it. Glades County Sheriff's Office told me that these big red trucks have to park on the road because the surrounding area is a swamp. So every time they're used, they block the road. In Glades County, Annalise Iraola, Wink News. All right, thank you very much, Annalise.